What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So the Minecraft launcher has now moved to the Microsoft Store and with it have come a bunch of issues. If you for one have moved across from the normal Java launcher to the Microsoft Store launcher, you'll see that you've lost all of your versions here. If you'd like to know how to restore them, check the description down below for a video on that as well as related videos that you will find useful. This video, however, is only going to cover installing Optifine for the brand new Microsoft Store version of the Minecraft launcher. If you'd like to know how to do this for Forge or Fabric, check the description down below, as well as a plethora of other videos. Anyways, let's get into it. This Minecraft launcher here is downloaded and installed using either the Microsoft Store or by downloading the Windows 10 or 11 version from Minecraft's website. Regardless, when you do and you head across to Optifine.net to download Minecraft, at this current point in time, when it does download and you open it up, you'll receive an error instead of it installing properly. This error over here, something something launcherprofiles.json. Don't worry, we'll be fixing this. So as you saw, I've already downloaded an official version of Optifine from Optifine.net. We'll be returning to this file in just a moment. Basically, the file system has changed for Minecraft and Optifine, Fabric, Forge and the rest haven't updated quite just yet. If I open up a new file browser here, simply make sure to head across to the View tab at the very top and make sure Hidden Items is checked. On Windows 11, it's a little bit different, but you do need Hidden Items enabled on your computer, though you'll have to look up a guide for that specifically. When you've done so, click at the very top here so we can type in an address and we'll be typing in percentage, app data, percentage and hitting enter. Inside of app data, we'll be opening up .minecraft and in here, you'll see a whole bunch of files down here. We're going to look for launcher underscore profiles underscore minecraft underscore store dot json. Now, basically what's happened is that this file used to just be called launcher profiles. Now there's a Microsoft store attached to it for the Microsoft store version. In order to install it, all we have to do is copy this name here. I'd recommend making a backup of this file as well and simply renaming Launcher Profiles Microsoft Store to just Launcher underscore Profiles. You'll find the text in the description down below so you can copy and paste. Once you've done so, you can reopen your downloads folder and open up the Optifine installer once again. This time clicking install, you should see that things run through smoothly. Okay. And now we can head back to the .minecraft folder we were just in. Then locate launcher underscore profiles dot JSON and rename it back to launcher underscore profiles underscore Microsoft underscore store dot JSON as such. Once again, you'll find it in the description down below. At this point, launching up the brand new Minecraft launcher, you should see that when it does eventually load, we now have the Optifine version on the main menu. There we have it, Optifine 1.17.1. And that's basically it. You've now installed Optifine, you're able to play it using the brand new Minecraft launcher from the Microsoft Store. Things are set up and working properly once again. Now, of course, this won't be the method forever. Hopefully the developers of Optifine will get around to fixing this. But regardless, you now know how to install Optifine on the brand new Microsoft Store using this workaround at least until things are fixed. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!